Hey viewers, the first sewing machine motor up for test is uh, the Kenmore one. Unloaded, does 23,100. I've pretty much stuffed all uh, metering gadgets I could in uh, view here. That's again, that's DC volts coming off the generator. That's DC volts going into the motor. RPM. Hopefully it'll work this time. Um, amps. The step-up transformer is drawing. And I've gone old school and attached a, a thermal couple directly to the motor with some aluminum tape. And it's going to a Simpson Model 338 thermometer. And uh, so with that being said, let's get this started. Fifty volts in climbing.
100 volts output from the generator. getting close to maxing out the Variac. motor die output on the Variac. I can't give it any more power. This motor's nuts! What I'll do is I'll, is I'll wire the step-up transformer to get an even higher voltage out of it. I honestly didn't think I would need to go any higher than 370 volts. Apparently I do. Alright, I've switched over to a higher, to get a higher voltage, so let's continue and see how far I can push it. You can see the, the step-up transformer is 
amps have gone way up because I'm asking it to put out a lot more volts with the same uh, voltage input on the primary and secondary. There's 400 volts. I'm hearing something, it's not liking. Oh! Wow! That was pretty cool. This came back and, and uh, rolled against my leg. It's actually the pulley that was on the motor. There's no pulley on the motor anymore. <laughs> oh, that motor was pretty impressive. That was over 400 volts. God damn. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for the next one.